Now you've properly warmed up your body with the cycle mode, you can move on to the training mode. Cycle mode is going to help get everything ready, and then when you do the training mode, it's really going to fatigue your muscles. So after you do your arms, you do a cycle on the legs, and then you're going to go back to the training mode. So now we're going to put the arm bands back on. So Steve's got them on. He's got the Katsu cycle clipped to his belt. So Steve, go ahead and push the power button, turn it back on, hold it down for about two seconds. There you go, the red light turned on, so it's on. So now, I want you to go to the training mode by pressing and holding down the L button for two seconds. Perfect, and then you're gonna hit the P button, and I want you to go up, we're gonna set you at 220, okay? And then from there, you hit the red button, and now we're going to the training mode. Dr. Sato found the best way to get the most benefit from the katsu is to aim for higher reps with low weight. That's the beauty of katsu is that you don't need heavy weights. Rubber bands and elastic tubing are a great way to achieve that goal. So you want to start with the larger muscle groups and work your way to a smaller muscle group. So Steve, we're gonna start with either a pushing exercise, like a push-up on a wall, maybe a pulling exercise, or you can simply just do bicep curls, tricep extensions, and wrist movements. I've got a rubber band here with handles on it. I want you to step onto that rubber band, wiggle it around so it's fairly even resistance in both hands. Perfect. Now we're going to stand up. I want you to do nice, slow bicep curls. So get a good grip on that handle. And as you curl up, I also want you to really squeeze that handle. Bend those wrists towards you. And really squeeze that. Remember to take nice, deep breaths as you go. You want to go up for about two seconds and then control it coming down. You don't want jerky movements. You don't want to try to go fast with this exercise. For the first set, you're trying to hit 30 repetitions. Keep curling. Okay. Okay. If you can't get to 30, the weight may be a little heavy, so you want to back the weight down. If you feel like you get to 30 and it's too easy, that's okay, because you need to wait for the second set. After you do one set of 30, you can turn loose of those rubber bands, just let them go. Turn loose of that, take a deep breath, wait for about 10-15 seconds, and then you're going to bend over, grab those rubber bands, and this time you're going to try to get to 20 repetitions, okay? So grab one of those, again wiggle it around, get it nice and even, nice, slow, two seconds up, nice and controlled down, aiming for 20. You'll start to feel your arms tighten up. Now, Corey, how do I know when it's time to do the second one? Is it, it's not like the cycle, it just keeps going the whole time? No, in the training mode, it's going to maintain that pressure for the same time. Okay, so it's not going in and out like it did on the cycle? No, the cycle is going to gradually get you going by going up and down and relaxing. This one is a sustained pressure. So this is going to be a little bit harder. So I don't need to look at it on the waistband. No, it's just okay. going to go ahead and gotcha. stay at that same pressure. Yeah, I was a little uncomfortable there for a second because when he put on it seemed a little tight. Yeah. And then the one on my side, I don't know if I got it high enough. So I feel it. It, it feels more, of a, more of like it's pinching my bicep on my right side. Mm -hmm. You know, if it's not high enough. So Steve brought up a great point. Now that he's standing, now that he's moving, he says, you know, one kind of feels a little bit lower than the other. It kind of feels a little pinched. So go ahead, you can go ahead and stop. Let go of the rubber band resistance. If you want, you can hit that red power button and that'll cut off the pressure. And you may have to adjust. So straighten your shirt out. There's uh, the band and your shirt and the pressure. You may feel a pinch and that's okay. It's okay to adjust. Not everyone's the same. You may have to move it around a little bit, raise your arm up to try to get it up on there, or let it relax. You'll notice that when you have your arm up and you're putting it on, 
when you bring your arm down, it may slide down a little bit. And once it starts to compress on that upper bicep, it's going to be a little bit uncomfortable. So you really want to get it up in there. Again, that's why the narrow bands are great because it fits in that nice little gap. How does it feel? Better. Feels a little better. The training mode is a little bit more intense on your body. With the cycle mode, that's something that you can do multiple times a day. You can continuously do the cycle. But with the training mode, you don't want to have sustained pressure on your arms longer than 15 minutes, and you don't want to have the leg bands on longer than 20 minutes of sustained pressure. Again, if you're cycling, that pressure is relaxing in and out, and that's okay to continuously do the cycles. But with the training mode, it's like running sprints. You don't want to run sprints all day, you're going to wear your body out. With the cycle mode, the cycle mode is more like walking. So with the Katsu cycle, the training mode is set to that 10 minute increment. You can do it again if you want, but you'll realize that as you're doing these exercises, your arms are going to get tired, your legs are going to get tired, and you're going to feel that tired fatigue feeling. It's not going to be a typical muscle soreness like you're lifting heavy weights, but it'll still feel like your muscles are exhausted. And at any point in time, you feel lightheaded, nauseous, anything like that, stop it, peel them off, take them off, have a seat, take a break.